here. How do you get Zoom on Facebook? Um, Anna, I will show you that later. It's complicated. It's not that complicated, but you have to have a special extension. All right, here we go. We're going live on Facebook. Okay, so we are live on Facebook. Hey guys, it's to the Disruptive Business Owners Group. It's Coach Joe and Steph. Hey. So, so this all started because you posted a really cool idea in the Facebook group about how to build lists and everybody is asking, how do you build lists? How do you grow your list? So let's start with that. Okay. Hey. All right. So I'm Coach Joe and I've had the pleasure of chatting back and forth with Stephanie. And um, let's, so let's just dive in and I'll just, I'll just throw some stuff out there. And if you want to chime in, Stephanie, please do. Uh, thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. Your group is amazing. Such high quality people you've found. So thank you for that. Um, so let's ju jump right in because I know people want to know. And it feels a little bit like this list building thing is like the new buzzword, right? You, it, it, there was a while there were like Facebook ads was the thing. Like there are always these cycles of like the thing that's the thing. Right? And the thing that's the thing right now seems to be the list build, the list build. Well, why is that? Well, it's, it's always been that. That's the first thing to establish. Like it was always your audience. Like find out your audience, determine your audience, determine your ideal customer avatar. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Why list build has become so big is that we can now gather, you know, anywhere from 200 to 2 million of right. your ideal client in one place, right? Even DBO could become like hundreds of thousands of people should you let them in. So that's why this is so interesting, clearly. I don't need to explain it to you. But <clears throat> I think I, uh, the first thing I'd like to, I'd like to do because one thing that could happen to people is they can feel disempowered. Like, oh, you know, I only have 100 people. I only have 200 people. You have to think of your list and your audience as if you're standing in an auditorium. Mm -hmm. If you did a speech for two to 300 people, that's a lot of people to do a speech to. I think sometimes because there's a screen in between us, you can't see the people watching you or listening to you. All of a sudden, you think that two or 300 people is not that much. Well, again, imagine yourself in that auditorium. So two or 300 potential buyers, that's a lot of buyers. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Even if you land 10%, 5%, you're you know, 15 to 30 customers. Would you like that? Oh, yeah. So I mean, that's why. Yeah, everyone. They, they also, the thing is, what I think the problem is, people have a disengaged list. So their mm -hmm. hundred people yeah. turns into only yeah. 10 people actually paying attention to them. That's right. where the problem is. That's why everyone's like, oh, you have to have a big list because you have to have people because no one's going to pay attention that's where i think the issue is and that's why okay. i love the group because it is actually engaged and that's the difference right. well let's deep dive into what you just said though there because because yes that if you have a message that's like let's say not niche enough or just a general sales yes you need a huge list because you know, the, the numbers speak in percentages or percentages. And, the, the, right. you know, if you have 50,000, yes, you will have a few customers. There's always, you know, that's the numbers game, right? But the point is you don't really need that, though. You don't need it. You can go down for it. But what you, the first thing you, you do need is I like, to, I like to talk to people about, um, you know, that's another buzzword, like, you know, work your strengths and not your weaknesses. Well, by all means, do a strengths you know, test or an assessment test. I like Strengths Finder 2.0, but they, by the Gallup people, mm -hmm. you all should do it. You know, the book is $12 and with it comes a test. A test. And it's, uh, yeah, it's by um, Tom Roth and uh, Marcus Buckingham. That whole gang did a lot of cool stuff. And obviously, Gallup people, they know how to poll people, right? They know, they know, they, they know how to do this. So what I like about that. They have that, some experience. You know, yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> well there's i know just a little there's so many assessment tests out there and and you know they're very good ones but they, they tend to be involved and also sometimes designed for companies and they charge a premium and i like the strengths finder because it's simple your five top strengths and the reason i bring that up is a do it just for 12 bucks can't beat it number two if you also read the book that comes with it it will start to show you what your strengths are good for like you can even download like all kinds of uh, attachments or PDFs with it where it says like, well, if you have this strength, you're really good for these jobs or for us entrepreneurs or for you, Stephanie, or for everybody that's watching, Catherine, everybody. Um, 
you know, there might be a, a part of your business that you're so perfect for. And then, so know which one, what part that is. It's probably the one you enjoy the most. And yes, you have to wear a friend's hat in the beginning, but as quickly as you can, farm out those that you're just average at. You might even be somewhat good at them, but stick with the stellar one. The reason right. I brought this up, because in Strength Finder, there's something called a learner. Like, learner is a strength. My husband is a learner. Like, he just soaks it in. I like to learn. I'm a good student. But it's not my top. I like to execute, right? So the more people I, um, the more people I, uh, you know, the more people I uh, enroll, the less time I have to learn, and I should be doing that. So the more, and also the the bigger the business has gotten. Every time I you know, have an infusion or go to the next level of zeros, as I like to call them, right? Like, you know, the next figure, like you know, right. you know, four figures, five figures, five, six figures. Yeah. <laughs> the, next, the next zero, I always bring in new people. I don't take money out, I just reinvest. And I, when I just invested in a learner, someone who is just like, just so it in and learns every new little program and every new little extension. You're probably a learner if you took that test. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you this because then this person can just keep finding out, you know, how to go live via Zoom on Facebook, right? All that stuff. Like when I'm busy coaching people, I don't have time to find that out. And I'm not a learner. I'm an executor. I'm a doer, right? Which is very typical entrepreneur stuff. So this is like a long roundabout way of talking about how to build your list. Mm -hmm. But I like to talk about that because when I do what I do best, my people, the people come, my tribe, they find me. Mm-hmm. When I, I step I love, in, I like it doesn't that you work. brought that up because I think that's something a lot of people miss out on is that whole embrace who you really are. And, and I know my issue was that last, uh, not last year. Wow. Okay. A little longer than that ago, but where I ran into trouble was everyone kept trying to tell me who I was instead of me yeah. you know, and sticking true to who I was. I kept trying to take everybody else's ideas. And so then that became a massive issue. And that was where we started. And finally, someone came to me and said, Steph, the Stephanie on stage and the Stephanie in your newsletters and the Stephanie on Facebook, they're not the same Stephanie. Who are you? And I was yeah. like, oh, crap. <laughs> Real quick, Catherine yeah. raised her hand. I think she has a question. I'm going to let her talk. I think I'm going to be able to let her talk real quick. Hold on. Okay, Catherine, you can talk, but you are... Oh, there you go. You're unmuted. Can you okay. hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I so I, th I think what, what you're both doing is, is fabulous. And I think that you, you know, and just, to, just to reiterate what, what coach Joe was saying, it's so important to know yourself and know who you are and who you want to be and make really strong choices about who you want to be based on that. And every single time you do some kind of exercise, that's a self discovery thing. You think you know everything about yourself, but it gives you an opportunity to really dig a lot deeper and find new opportunities, especially when people give you interesting feedback that's congruent with what you're learning about yourself. So I'll just give yeah. you an example. Um, one of my friends, you know, I, I do design stuff. And, and so one of my friends said to me, you really need to focus on your design business, which I don't really have, right? But, it, but it's it miraculously starting to grow. But I've also learned how to combine that with psychological insights and mm -hmm. psychological services. Mm -hmm. And I think you being, you being true to that is what makes you such a strong personality that people want to be connected with too, Catherine. Um, so I agree. And I love that you shared that. I'm going to go ahead and remove your chat, I think. Hopefully it's not going to, uh, I don't know how to remove, disable talking. There we go. So it puts Joe and I back up full screen. Okay. Um, that was good. I didn't, I'm still figuring out this whole Zoom thing. So my apologies on that one. Um, but okay, so go ahead. So what's so now we've we've determined in order to build your list, you have to know who you are. You have to have your strong personality that will yep. attract the right people, which will then create an engaged group, right. um, which Catherine pointed out. Um, which I yeah. do think, you know, this Facebook group is a really good example of that as well. Yes, and then and sometimes you know I, I don't know you, you probably have you all have done this like you've been in in concert arenas and then you have it been in small clubs to hear a, a concert. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you would compare your arena experience if it was a great band with the one in the little club because it's just two different things. 
So sometimes a small setting works in your favor. It feels intimate. It feels special. You feel like you trust the people that, that, who are there. So for each kind of um, segment of your list build, you, you cater it to the size that, that's there. So again, a smaller one does not mean worse. One of the biggest problems I see with people when they list build is that they give up. They're like, you know, the list is not building. It's not engaged. So they stop. Right? They stop. And the, and the thing is, you'll never know when that breakthrough will come. I mean, they're really, I've really gone sometimes from like nothing to like, boom, what just happened? And for, and for example, sometimes they're also, if you're just looking to kind of make a living off of what you're doing now, which I think most of the people in DBO are, Mm -hmm. disruptive business owners like I think I think they're trying to expand or really go and, and maybe maybe they haven't fully um, developed it and grown their businesses or your businesses to the point where they can do that only or they might be parts of the business they like to farm out but but you all share the same issue of I'm not quite there yet with where I want the business to go mm -hmm. but sometimes when we list build, there really are quantum leaps. So you're not going to go from you know, 50 to 52 to 53. Like you're going to go from you know, 500 to 2,000 to 4,000. To that's kind of how it grows. So that's why it's so important not to give up on the list build and not even get upset when people drop off. Like that's good news for you. That means that the I, people who don't I really would, care. I want to reiterate that one real quick because yeah. um, I know right. that is a big issue. Not just because someone was actually recently just telling me that they have issues when people drop off their list, but also because it, it I mean, it's not uncommon. Everyone freaks out. Oh my gosh, someone doesn't like me anymore. No, that doesn't mean yeah. they don't like you. They just don't yeah. necessarily want you in their inbox anymore for what, I, you don't know what's going on. That just kills me. So I'm glad you brought that up because it's- I unsubscribe it's all all the time all the time and I, some, I love some of the people that I subscribe to it might just be a time where I like I just need to clear out I can have more like you said in my inbox but then more often than not I resubscribe to right. those that I really like so plus you get better all the time don't forget that like it's right. really cool when people resubscribe and they see kind of like a new you like, wow yeah. you've grown so much of, um, you know you, you you seem to have you know really um expanded your offer and all that stuff so let's see i have some notes here that i just want to make sure i cover uh, about all this so so yeah so again like yes let's not freak out it's good that they fall off because you know they're not going to buy from you right. if they if they fell off they're not going to buy anyway so it doesn't matter um you probably heard about like creating raving fans so raving fans really are people who they stick with you because you're you and it's almost like whatever comes out of me. Like I have some raving fans from ah, 20 years back. And it's almost like when I open my mouth and I go, would you like to? They go, yes. <laughs> whatever you say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you think I should do, right? Right. Which is so be beautiful because we built that trust. So if I, and I don't oversell them either because I care about them. So what I do is I, I only come to them with a true offering that I think will make a huge difference in their lives. Otherwise, I don't tap them just because I know they're a short card. Does that make sense? So right. that takes a bit of respect. Um, let me put, touch on one more thing here. You know about like really finding your target audience. What I liked about what Catherine said was that is so specific, right? Like design built on your specific psychology, right? Like I, I'm, I'm just making this up, Catherine, but I can see it. I can already see it. Like, did that, like I do an interview with you, with you based on my psychology degree that completely gives me your psychology type. And I give you designs based on that. Like, what? How cool is it, that? Yeah, that's can my- imagine, Can you imagine like walking into your home and you feel like you're walking into your own brain or something? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> that's compelling. That's that would be, and you would, get, cool, right? you would get a very specific type of person attached to that. And those people then are going to be more likely to stick with you and grow with you and be engaged. So I love that. So let's talk some actual strategies here. So what are some okay. actual, uh, again, love, you had one that I just, I loved. Um, so what, what are some strategies people can use once they know, so I do want to be clear on that. Once you know what they right. want, who they are, yep. what type yep. of person they want, what do they do to grow? Yep. Their well, what they do and what's so great about today, today is that list builds can be free. Like if you want to do sweat equity, if you have no money, it will cost you nothing. Yeah, you need an internet connection, right? If, if you can't afford Wi-Fi, you can go sit in a cafe. You know what I mean? Like, right. Seriously, you really can have nothing, right? So 
so, so, so once you're like, yes, I have an offering. And again, don't sell diapers to people without babies. Like there has to be something <laughs> that some people want. Right. And then the first thing you do is you check your little, your little blacklist. Like I'm not blacklist, like the little black book with your little list. Yeah, not a blacklist. No, just forget about the blacklist. Your black book, and and you look at you do have if, even if you have five friends who like are interested in what you do, you can just be like, hey, would you come? Would you like you did? Like, would you join my Facebook group? Right, yeah. I'm going to start talking about blah blah blah. Right, and then you just start talking. Like you decide how often you're going to talk. But if you got time and no money on your hands, you talk every day on a Facebook live and you talk about what you do and you talk about what you do and that's all you do and you pitch nothing. You just talk, 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 talk. And it better be a passion because you're going to be talking a lot about it. So you'll notice soon if it's not your passion because you'll run out of things to say. But things that you're really, really passionate about, can't we just talk forever? We can talk people's heads off and the good news with Facebook lives are that you're loud. You know, right. you know, <laughs> no one's going to interrupt you. You're like, blah, 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 blah. So, so you start talking on your little group. And then you ask, you ask your little black book, <laughs> who do you know? Who do you know that's just like you? Because chances that they have friends who are just like them are pretty high. And I'm wrapping out a 40, 45 minute design session to someone like to, among the next 20 who come on, right? Have you noticed so far you haven't spent a dime? Right. You might have spent time. You haven't spent a dime. Right. And you're getting people who are engaged, who are interested. Yes. Right. Yes. And what I like about this group that we're, hmm? yeah, go to your blackboard. And what I like about your, and you're also in a Facebook group, you can, you can add members or suggest your group to, to a friend of yours. Okay. And then add them and, and say, may I add you and stuff like that. So you can, it can move pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I could keep yapping, but why don't I stop for a bit? Maybe you want to, maybe you want to add something. Um, I mean, so like that, you kind of summed up everything I would say there with, that was exactly what I did was I said, Hey, you know what? I want to start this group. I want to, you know, the whole goal was to spread this concept across the whole U S and across the globe, right. which I'm super yeah. excited because we have you. So you're our, our globe. We actually have several global <laughs> members. <laughs> um, yeah. like that was the idea. And so I went to people and, and then what was funny was I actually didn't even have to go to people and ask them to add. Uh, yeah. I did at the very end of the first week because we were like eight members away from hitting our goal for the first week. I was like, Hey, yeah. no. but I didn't, people were already going in adding people because if you just add enough value, they start sharing it out and going, dude, you got to check this person out. You've got, but I think the point there is you have to add enough value because if I'd sat there and created this group and just said, Hey, y'all should come to my events. Hey, you guys should come to our events. Hey, by the way, yeah, who wants coaching? Like no one would be adding people to that group. That's not a value. Group. But well, that'd be, that, that you bring up a, a good point here because there's something I also know there's some people here who haven't quite crafted their product offering yet, or maybe they're new and they don't know quite, they haven't actually they don't quite know what to offer, but they got it, they got to kind of get it up and running fast. A really good way to add value, then, especially let's say you're kind of shy, you know what you want, but you're shy on camera, you know, you got to work it up. You could always do the interview format, right? And you can do you can do gallery view, right? So you see you and the interviewee at the same time, kind of much like we do now. Right. And if you get some someone who is more seasoned than you are, that is like an expert at a topic, you can you don't have to worry so much about that. Like if you don't have enough product offering or value offer yet, and you'll learn a lot. So if you it, that's another way to skin the cat, if you feel like I don't quite know yet. Right. And that will get, you'll get your chops up being on camera. And like, I really like what you said too, also Stephanie, about you've got all this coaching about like market yourself this way and that way and this way. I find that the more we're on camera and the more we do, you know, interviews and the more we do podcasts and the more we do that, I don't know about you, but I get less and less concerned about like how I show up. It's yeah. really fine. Like, because you know what? I can't change it anyway. I'm too old. Like, it's not like, this is it. This is it. Well, what, so what I learned like is it's kind of like a lie, right? So you're always told as a kid, if you tell a lie, sooner or later yes. you have trouble keeping up with all the lies. So if I That's built right. this persona that wasn't really me, yes. sooner or later that That's persona right. didn't show up one day. And then people were wondering right. what the heck happened. So I, I had yes. to be true to who I was and what made me passionate That's right. about it. That's right. That's right. So... 
I was going to ask, I know you have some ideas for people. So we've got, so for those of you guys who are just starting building your list, you got some ideas. What about for those who are, and Joe, you're frozen. I don't know if that's on my end or yours. Uh Oh, I hope we didn't lose her. Do, 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 do. My, my attendees, can y'all still hear me at least? Let's find out here. I'm not getting any feedback. We're still live on Facebook though, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, I was going to ask, okay, so Tanisha says she does hear me. Okay, so hopefully uh, Joe will be back on in a second here. I was gonna start going through, what do you do if you already have a list? Because that's where I know a lot of you guys have started a list, you've already gone to your black book. Um, so yeah, Coach Joe is frozen, I know. Hopefully she'll be back on. Um, but, so what do you do when you, you've already gone to your black book? Right. What are some of the things you do now? One of the one of the key things that I've been doing to help continue building the list and um, and the Facebook group is going out and making sure it's represented everywhere. So we have this crazy belief in our heads that everybody knows what you do because they know you, and that's just not freaking true. Um, they it's just, <laughs> just because you are maybe their best friend doesn't mean they know who you are doesn't mean they know what you have to offer and doesn't mean they even know you have a mailing list i have one guy we were friends for like a year all of a sudden he comes to me and goes someone just forwarded me one of your mailing lists one of your emails stuff i didn't even know you did that holy crap that was really cool like he was super excited about getting this email from me i was like i've been doing that for a while i don't know I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but that was that was one of my big like, oh, hold up a second. Not everybody, um, not everybody will see you around, Anna. No worries, I'll see you this afternoon. Um, oh, hey, look, uh, Joanna is back. Let me try. We're back. You're back. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to retry so the old I coach. did nothing. Yeah. Well, you were talking, oh. and then you just froze like this. And you froze. Oh, ah, good. well, right. <laughs> apparently, okay. apparently, okay, uh, remove. It's not even letting me remove your old you, so I guess we're just going to have the old you frozen there for a while. My old, my old you and my new you. And your new you. We were just talking about that. <laughs> just being true to yourself is showing up, right? Right. So yeah. I was talking about how do we, for people who already have a, a list started, how do they... Yeah. Um, how do they get more people on the list? One of the things I was just talking about was like how I had one mm -hmm. guy who came to me and said, Hey Steph, oh my gosh, I didn't know you had a mailing list. Like someone just forwarded me one of your emails and it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. And that was my wake up call to be like, oh crap. Like people yeah. don't just because they, and I knew, I knew this guy, like we were in the same mastermind group. We know each other. We're friends. Okay. Like right. for him to not realize I had this mailing list was a big like, right. oh crap. Um, so I started putting it everywhere. We made sure it was all over the website. It was on the you know, Facebook page, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of this. So make sure you have a list, make sure it's represented and make sure what the content is about is represented as well. Um, so that was my suggestion for if you already have a list, how do you build it? But what are some of your suggestions for if you already have a list, how do you build it? Well, um, well, I mentioned you got to, you know, you got to start talking. And the other thing is you can, um, bring you know bring other experts and and invite them to to also tell their list right like i'm i'm doing a facebook live with so and so would you let your list know right, right. because then now now their whole list will will tune in because they're like they like the experts you have on right. but then they also get exposed exposed to you and then if they really like you you've been discovered by someone else so that's a that's a good way of doing it as well and i just i just find that there's a really really sweet cross-pollination happening between entrepreneurs online i mean honestly like i i do i do, i i talk to other coaches and i have other coaches on and i'm not i'm not worried about like oh and another coach you know they're going to take my clients whatever you know what i mean right. it's just not like that it's it's i feel there's a there's a trust and we're different enough so i don't you know so i so i really like that like constantly exchanging ideas having a discussion that's what that's one way of doing it raffling cool stuff is another right i just had a friend who wrote a book and i said hey would you be willing to give me you know 10 copies that i could raffle off 
She's oh, like, that's absolutely. awesome. So then you can go to those, those guests or friends and say, hey, would you, yes. I've got this giveaway. Would you help me promote mm -hmm. it? That's a cool idea. That's right. And everybody has, you know, so, so, so you can also then borrow other people's stuff that they want to sell just to have something to give. If right. you don't have something yourself, right? And and you obviously want your friends to do well, right? And so 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 all of that. I mean, you also can be in a. Uh oh, we might be losing her again. Um, no, but I think that's a really good one. Um, the one bringing on experts is a great way to to keep the list going, keep the list promoting. Um, I'm actually, one of the reasons we're doing all of these teaming up is because I want you guys to one for you guys to get value out of the group, but also the more that I bring on other people and we're working to bring in guests just to bring in like experts, like real experts, like, you know, Ben Gay the third who can come in and actually do some training and some help with you guys. Um, because I do want this group to be valuable, but it also helps they then can go promote that to their list, to their followers and say, Hey, come on over and check this out. Um, and so then this other person who is, we're just on Stephanie now. Um, so then other people can then, um, like let's, let's, I'm gonna use Ben for example. Ben goes, says, hey guys, I came on this, yeah. this great webinar. Oh, oh wait, she's back again. <laughs> and so he's back again. <laughs> having the, why are we having such trouble? I don't know, I don't, it must be the I hat. Know. It must, I be, must be the hat, but, but I have to have the hat because it's so hot today. Let me tell you, it is crazy hot. How supposed to so be this for, my, for our listeners out there, especially those of us in Texas, it's, uh, it's approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit over where she's at. It's so hot. It's <laughs> yeah. so hot. Yeah, I know. And, <laughs> oh, you. I, you know, I, I used to live there. For some reason, this feels hotter than it did then. But, you know, I well, broke my thermostat. Your body's, your body's adjusted to much colder winters. <laughs> I broke my thermostat. It's like that. I broke it. Give me one second. I now have to plug in because I'm afraid I'm going to lose you because I don't have battery. Hang on. Give me a second. <laughs> well, while you do that, let me finish my little yeah. thought. So basically, the idea is I go yeah. to bed and I say, hey, Ben, let's have you come on and, you know, talk about sales and then Ben has the opportunity to then go and if we put together a really great piece of content now this is the key I can tell you guys as someone who does get brought on regularly to to podcasts and to as expert as an expert I have to feel like I provided some kind of new value in order to promote it to my list or there has to be a pre-existing agreement but if I'm just talking about the same old same old same old the likelihood I'm gonna promote it to my list is fairly slim so make sure as an interviewer, you have to be engaging with the person you're talking to. Don't get stuck asking, you know, a lot of times uh, experts will send you a list of three questions and those are great places to start, but dig deeper. Because if you just make me match the same content I've talked about 10 times, I'm not going to be interested in sharing that because my list is engaged because yeah. they know that I produce great content. And so vice versa if you're going to bring on a guest make sure you bring on a really good guest um okay so so yeah and, and it's also like you, you want to assume your your people are smart right right you want to assume your people are super smart you want to assume that they probably um read what you read honestly right so how do you kind of get a head start like how do you this is why it's so important to just like tap into more deeply into who you are because that no one can plagiarize right I mean they can try it but they're not going to do so well because no <laughs> well and that, that's I think where sometimes people who still like you but disengage from your list if you're just producing yeah. you know canned content or content that's seen a yeah. hundred times yes, um you know that was another thing that I went through a while ago about a year and a half ago two years ago where I was just kind of rehashing the same newsletters every year and I was like yeah. oh this is not a this is you're like, you're like, no, you're like, right. yeah. like the new guys hadn't seen it. The old guys yeah. had so yeah, yeah. big difference. So, okay. So right. let's do well, let's, one. Okay. How about, how about we talk? I'd love to talk a little bit more about like I'm practical because it's very easy to get very, very esoteric here about, you yeah. know, like really honing, you know, niche and honing to yourself. Like we all, we kind of all know that. So I want to give it a few more super practical things yes. about the, about your list. So, so I, I, I make sure the ratio of um, communicating with people, I try to keep it five to one uh, of making offers. Okay. okay. 
So, you know, five times I just chat, I give, like I, I give, like I just, I, I just give and then the next time an offer. I might give them a cool link, like if you're interested in this, go sign up here or go like, but, but I don't pitch like a program, I don't pitch anything right. for a good long time, right? Because I don't want them to feel like, just like as you, you know, there's our parents out there, like you don't want your kids to, to, to come to you only when they want money, right? Like, right, yeah. Just, <laughs> like, do you love me or don't you love me? <laughs> so anyway, so that, and then the other thing is, but, but then, there's, there's no shame in the game of like giving a couple of uh, links or hyperlinks where it's like, if you haven't yet, you know, sign up to my mailing list, click there, or here's what I'm going to talk about next, you know, on my site. So, you know, here you go. Like, like you can always encourage that and that you can always do it at the end, do it at the beginning, do it at the, do it at the end. So you leave first impression or last impression. So you, you leave people with that. And, um, and also like do things like hyperlink pictures. I do that as well because people click pictures. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, what is something else is really good for building the list? I mean, you can, we can go on and on forever, but, but, I, do, but I do think that giving, I, did, I, I give a lot of book recommendations because sometimes I also feel that really niches me as well. Like, like if people read the books I read, they're going to come back hungry for more because they want to need, know what I'm reading next. Right. Right. So I, I also, sometimes I, I, for some reason, I've had luck in authors responding to me. Mm -hmm. So often if I read a book I love, I write to the author. I'm like, I really loved your book. And then the answer has happened numerous times now. So if I can get that going, then I can even say, hey, I want to like unplug it. I'm, I'm going to plug you. Right. Right. And, and then that is really cool for them. And sometimes that leads, you know, to a further conversation. You know what I mean? And maybe even, you know, there's a chance to, to do a giveaway or something like that. So right. that's, that's like, that's what I'm thinking of about uh, right now. Do you keep your list on an Excel sheet, Catherine is uh, asking. No, oh, I don't. I that's a good that. question. <laughs> uh, no. No, I do not. I use, right now I use Aweber. Um, I used to use MailChimp, but they had probably with, with forced double opt-in. And if you don't know what a double opt-in is, it's like whenever you sign up, you usually get that confirmation that do you want to sign up for this list? And then it used to be that you had to, you had to do that twice. And by that time, people are like bored. They, they don't want to do it anymore. So I moved to Aweber. And now MailChimp has taken that feature away. So I think either one is fine. I use Aweber though, and now I'm going to move again to Micah Jobby. And uh, Micah jo oh, go ahead. Because Micah Jobby has a full integrated solution. You can have your website there, you can have your shopping cart there, you can have your list there. So I'm going to do that next. There's a lot of options. I did start with an Excel spreadsheet when it was a small mm -hmm. list, <laughs> mm -hmm. but the other issue you run into is you cannot send out. Um, uh, Kajabi is, um, K A J A B I. Um, so the problem with an Excel spreadsheet is that you cannot, um, you can't send out mass emails. So I, I want to say Gmail only allows you to send out 50 at a time mm -hmm. unless you have a membership. And I think Outlook mm -hmm. does 200. So you run into issues with not being able to send out your full list. I've heard good stuff about MailChimp. I use GetResponse, but I'm actually working on switching everything over to something called Active Campaign, which is more mm -hmm. like Kajabi. It has the full, mm -hmm. it, and it tracks. Um, so there's lots of options out there. Um, what I would recommend is, you know, check them out, get in, get involved with ones that offer a free one month, or or they yes. have like videos where you can watch building out. Because the the thing is, if it's too difficult for you to build out your your email going out to people it's not going to happen because it's such a pain in the ass. Um, That's right. That's right. But the other thing I would recommend is don't switch too often either. Cause someone had warned me a while ago. They said, did you notice when you switched from constant contact to get response um, that your open rate dropped? I was like, yeah, yeah, what happened? He was like, because the computers that used to register you and recognize you, you were now sending it through a different IP address. And so right. they, they no longer put you into the person's inbox. So just be but wait, 
Yeah. Stephanie, let's just do one thing though about this. Let's let's just like kind of pull it back a little bit. And if 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 the people watching are any like I was and kind of still am, they're like, I don't even know what you guys are talking about, right? Like, <laughs> ah, like I've been keeping my people on an Excel sheet. I, I what I what you said I think is super important. Like user friendly. Yeah. Plug and play templates. Press here. Like I think Aweber and Mailchimp is doing a great job of that, making it so that if you're not computer savvy, you really could it's use that. Hard, yeah. I, I think I think my Kajabi. I think uh, 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 the 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 one you're moving to. Which one is it? Get active. Um, get active, active campaign. Response? And I think, active I think campaign. the key is like get response. Aweber, Mailchimp are easy to use for starters. That's right. They're That's not right. robust. Now, MailChimp does That's have some right. robust features, but it gets very expensive very fast. Um, right. So they're not, so start smaller. You don't have to start That's with right. Kajabi or Active Campaign or you right. know, any of those bigger ones. I think my or, or they're, ca they're called like Entreport, they're called Infusionsoft. This is for yeah. when you start having lists in the tens of thousands, right? Like you, yes. there's no need for that yet. And it's what's actually, I think, way more important than getting super techy or even super graphic-y is to get super clean about your message and friendly, yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, friendly. When we get like a kind of like formal email with some offer in it, we're like, ew. Yeah. And the name of the game is like showing your personality, telling your story, telling yourself, showing your humanity. I mean, that's, that's, that's really... Yeah. This is a side note. I was, uh, let me pull this. Um, I just sent out this email uh, last week and it was, I was going to actually, I'm going to do this uh, uh, write up on it in the group later because that whole friendly thing, so important and it gets so mm -hmm. skipped over. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, uh, let's see. Okay. So I put in like a whole bunch of, so this was an actual email. Now I just sent this straight from my inbox. Mm -hmm. Um, but this was like an actual email that I sent, right? Throwing in funny little graphics, different Aww. size fonts, a little emojis. Yes. And then like, I made it funny, you know, I, you know, all your general smarticles, like I know smarticles right. is the word, but you keep it interesting. That's a great word though. And, <laughs> smarticles. Yeah, I thought it was great. <laughs> People will read along. Now this was a long email to send, especially it was a long pitch email. You know, that's yeah. what this was. This was a pitch. And this was yes. a long email to send as a pitch, but right. if you keep it fun, you keep it interesting, people will right. read along. And so keep that in mind. So I, I just wanted to show, cause yeah. you mentioned that and I thought that was right. a perfect example. Of and, and then, and I also think it's important to keep asking people maybe before you send something out, like keep asking people if it, if it resonates. Cause I know I follow James, I'll, is it I'll touch her? I'll tuck her. I'll talk her, Huntington. Anyway, he's like, I was like his super duper fan. I should tell him this. I am sorry. I didn't mean to be it public, James, but I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you later. He doesn't know me, but whatever. The, I used to be so just funny. He used to tell like all his crazy mistakes and how he went bankrupt. And I used to die laughing and I used to follow him religiously. Now he turned all guru on me and giving me life advice, you know, and I'm like, yeah. like it's, not, it's just stopping fun. Like, I don't, I don't want a, a savior. Like, I want someone who was funny. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to save myself. You know, I don't need a savior. So, right. yes. So, like, I think oh, that. Oh, oh, choose to stop. James, I'll, I'll, I'll touch her. Is that, it's Catherine? Like, oh, oh, like cheese? Like cheese? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I might have to, like, ask his forgiveness now. But, like, I liked it better when he was just, like, sweet and vulnerable. Now he's all, like, you know choose you know life and you're something like all right well, and okay. that, that i think it comes down to too sometimes you may find that your voice and who you are changes over time if mm -hmm. you, you are going to lose followers yeah yeah so that's where it's super key to you know just know who you are so i do yeah. uh, she said he's because he's cyber currency trader now hmm. oh, well, like we said if you're a if your, your message changes, you might lose followers. <laughs> and you know, and there's obviously nothing wrong with growing and expanding, but I would yeah. warn my list. Like right, exactly. I'm now doing I'm gonna trade cybercurrency now. I'm no longer gonna be funny. <laughs> right. And that that's so that's something and also keep in mind if you built one list, you can build two. So if you want that's to right. go a different direction and keep one list going, right. you can. Right. So 
Um, but, but let me tell you one other thing too, Stephanie, that happened when I started building my list. I got in this, I don't know if this resonates with you or anybody else, but I used to get really annoyed when people used to tell me like, focus on your message, focus on your message, like craft your copy. I'm like, no, I want the technical details of how to build a list. Like I get so frustrated. I'm like, tell me what program, tell me what plugins, tell me, like, I wanted all of that. And then like, now I get it. I'm like, oh, oh, it doesn't matter how fancy. I mean, I will read someone's email that has no graphics, is, has typos. And I don't even know if that's on purpose because it might be just because it seems friendly. But the point is, it's like, oh, I get it. Like, I see. There's a. Have you ever read anything by Nancy Lamott? Mm-mm. Not Nancy. Annie Lamott. Sorry, Nancy. What's the singer? Annie Lamott. <laughs> um, bird by Bird. Mm-mm. No. Oh, you have to. She's an amazing writer. And she's funny. But she's the kind. Like, she has such a unique voice, and I would read anything she wrote. Yeah. Anything, right? And so. And I, and I used to annoy the crap out of me, but I got it after a while. It's like, oh, yeah, I write it. They will come. They and will. if you can't write, then have barter with someone or hire someone to write, not for you, but with you. Well, yeah. To capture your essence and, and convert it. At, at this point, that not being able to write is no freaking excuse. Like get on video. I mean, no, just, I'm okay. So I'm kind of a hard ass. I get that. Yeah. But like, seriously, get on video. My, you can freaking buy it. There's programs that will translate talk to text and put the commas mm-hmm. and all that crap there. Mm-hmm. Like that's just total BS at this point. Stop looking for excuses for why you haven't mm-hmm. gotten where you want to go and just mm-hmm. freaking go do it. That's I'll probably end on that one. Cause I'm going to get out of control in a second. <laughs> okay, okay. But Joe, this was okay. awesome. Thank I, I Thank love this. You. I got some cool ideas. I hope some of our listeners did too i will post kind of a summary just like high points in the um thingy on the live um but uh, if you guys have any comments questions drop them below joe and i would love to answer them and joe thank you thank you thank you you're the best i don't care what they say about you (laughs) 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 all right let me go pop the live stream okay and then we'll stop